Okay. So sometimes when you're raising multilingual children, you might notice your child start to mix the languages and you might get concerned and think, oh no, are they confused or are they getting mixed up? Well, there's good news. It's actually a natural thing for multilingual people to mix their languages. They might say things like, honig she back. So what's really clever about these mixing sentences is that they obey the rules of grammar of the languages. So if the verb comes first, like it does in Irish, in that example, the verb is in the right place, or they might, for example, use an English plural ending on an Irish word. That's not a sign of confusion. It's actually a very sophisticated communication strategy. Children are just concerned about getting their message across and they will basically uh, draw on any resources they have. So if they're missing a word in one language, they'll pop in a word from the other language to kind of get their message across. There's no such thing really as a pure language and for multilingual children, they need to learn the rule of when they can mix and switch. And research has shown, for example, that multilingual children at school know it's okay to mix and switch when they're talking to their friends and having casual conversations. And they know that when they speak to the teacher, they speak in one language only. When your child does the mixing and switching, you don't need to correct them because they're not actually doing anything wrong. What you can do is say the utterance in one language after them if you like, but don't get them to repeat the um, sentence or the utterance correctly after you because they haven't made a mistake and it's not communicative to get your child to repeat the sentence when you've actually understood what they have said. So there's no need to correct this mixing and switching, but you can, if you like, make a conscious effort to stay in one of your languages more if the mixing does bother you.